Hi everyone, so in today's video I wanted to introduce myself to you guys. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, about the hobbies I do at the moment, what I did as a kid and just what I'm doing with my life right now. So I'm 21 years old, I was born in Adelaide and I'm currently living in Adelaide. I have a brother and he is 19 years old, his name's Stefan and I have a little sister whose name's Erica and she is literally a mini me. She does everything that I do and copies everything that I do and acts exactly like me and she is 9 years old. So my parents, they were born overseas, they were born in Bosnia um, which is the capital city of Oh my god, no. They were born in Sarajevo, which is the capital city of Bosnia. And um, they came here about 23 years ago, and then they had a beautiful child, which was me, of course. Um, so they're actually not fully Bosnian. They are a mix of Serbian and Croatian as well, because my parents' parents were also born in Serbia and Croatia. So we're kind of a mix of Serbian, Croatian and Bosnian. My first language that I learned how to speak wasn't actually English. My first language was that mix of Serbian and Croatian. So as a kid, I was very active and I did lots of different activities. I did jazz dancing and swimming lessons for, I think, like five years and then I also did piano lessons and I stopped playing piano when I reached around grade six and then when I was around 12 years old I decided I wanted to stop playing all these other activities and I wanted to not playing doing and I wanted to start playing um, tennis and become a professional tennis player as you do as a kid so me and my brother we would go out and train um, every single day we would literally play for two hours um, no matter what the weather was like if it's raining we didn't care we were out there hitting that ball all the time um, we were just so into it me and my brother we played lots and lots of tennis tournaments and looking back at it now I realized that I was actually pretty good um, I remember when I was playing heaps I actually ended up achieving an Australian ranking I think I was ranked around 500 in women's tennis um, in Australia so then in year 11 I decided I was going to stop playing tennis probably because I realized I wasn't going to become a professional tennis player and I decided to just make the most of my education. I finished year 12 in 2013 and got into Bachelor of Pharmacy. At the moment I'm finishing my fourth year of um, pharmacy and I just completed my nine weeks of pharmacy placement so that's such a relief to finally have that out of the way and now I'm on my two month break which I'm so excited about. Me and my boyfriend recently booked a trip to Cairns in July and I have never been to Cairns before so I just can't wait. I have travelled quite a bit. Um, I've been all around Australia like Sydney, Melbourne, um, Surface Paradise and Noosa which are both in Queensland. Um, I've also been to Bali with my friends two years ago which was just amazing and I would love to go back there very very soon. Um, I've also been to um, Serbia, Croatia and Bosnia with my family but I went there when I was like seven years old so I don't really remember everything clearly and I think it would be awesome to just go back there and see everything all over again. And oh, I've also been to Spain. I went to Spain um, when I was in year 10 with my school and that was just incredible. I studied Spanish in high school. I studied it for four years. I don't really remember much other than Hola, Me Amo Monica, Me Gusta and that's probably pretty much it but if I could learn how to speak one more language it would definitely be Spanish. I think it is honestly the sexiest language and it just sounds so good. I love to exercise. I feel like even if I have heaps of things going on like um, exams and stuff I just need to find the time to go and exercise otherwise I literally go crazy it just makes me feel um, so much more motivated and energized but the funny thing is I've never ever joined a gym I remember I got this two-week free pass at good life and when I got it I was like oh my god that's it I'm gonna start exercising get really fit and everything but then when I actually finished the two weeks I didn't really enjoy it as much I guess I don't know, I guess gym isn't for everyone and for me I just didn't feel comfortable um, you know, exercising in front of people and I've just always loved exercising outside in fresh air so at the moment I'm not really into gym very much but who knows, maybe one day I'll get into it. If you guys would like to know how I keep fit and about my diet, um, let me know in the comments below and I can film for you a little workout routine. Another thing I love doing is reading. Um, at the moment I'm going through this phase where I love reading um, about books that teach you how to live like a happier and healthier and more positive life. Um, actually, one sec. Cool. So 
at the moment, um, I am reading A New Earth. This is by Eckhart Tolle. It is a really, really good book. Um, if you guys are into that kind of stuff as well, I would definitely recommend it. And my all-time favourite book by Eckhart Tolle is The Power of Now. It is amazing. You guys should all, I would honestly recommend it to absolutely everyone to give it a read. It's really, really good. I also love to draw. Um, whenever I draw, I need to have some sort of music playing in the background. I don't know why, it just gives me inspiration. And at the moment, I am working on one of my drawings. I've actually got it here to show you guys. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. I love drawing pictures of like um, faces and makeup and all that kind of stuff. My favourite singers at the moment are Kendrick Lamar, Bruno Mars, which I didn't get tickets to, which sucks. I really tried so hard, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully there'll be another time that he comes to Adelaide. And Beyonce. I mean, who doesn't like Beyonce? And um, my favourite TV shows are Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I also love animal documentaries. I love all the documentaries that David Attenborough has so that's another TV show that I really enjoy watching. So my favourite YouTuber is Carly Bible. I've been watching her for the longest time. I think when I first started watching her she had like 500,000 subscribers or something like that and now she has 5 million so I've basically watched her like grow into a really successful YouTuber. Um, I love all her videos, I think they're all really cool and um, I love how she has remained very humble even though she's become like a famous YouTuber and I love that she does a lot of charity a lot of charity work. I think that's a really beautiful thing. So the reason I started YouTube is just to connect with people. I feel like YouTube is very real. It's just you in front of the camera and you can't really edit yourself. So I like how it allows you to be yourself and it shows people who you really are. Originally, I wanted to make this YouTube channel all about makeup, but I think I might make it a little bit more broad, maybe do a few vlogs. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just see where it all goes. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about me. Please subscribe to my channel and if you guys enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon.